I'm in the heart of the Spanish region of Andalusia. I'm Sam Garza with World Travelers Today. Join me as I show you the beautiful city of Cordoba. My return journey to Cordoba began at Bodegas Campos. Here I met my friend Mara de Miguel, who would be showing me around the city for the next week. We had some delicious Oloroso, and Mara gave me a tour of the famous bodega. So as Mara was explaining to me yesterday, anytime you're walking the streets of Cordoba and you see a door open like the one behind me, it's an invitation for anyone, uh, visitors or anyone local, to swing by, walk into the second door, which is usually closed. So the second door is where you can view uh, the beautiful uh, plaza, the little gardens that they have inside these beautiful homes. Located in the historic center is the Castle of Cordoba. The original site had a fortress built by the Visigoths during medieval times. The structure was rebuilt by the Moors who added baths, gardens and a massive library. In 1236, Christian forces retook Cordoba from the Moors, and in 1492, Christopher Columbus met with King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Castile to ask for funding to explore what would become the New World. Next to the Alcazar is the Caballerizas Reales, or the Royal Stables. Historically, the stables housed the best Andalusian horses. In 1567, King Philip II formalized the standard for the Spanish horse breed and the royal stables were created in Cordoba. The best gastronomy guide in Cordoba is Mara de Miguel. Mara owns Bag and Box, and here Mara provides amazing wine and olive oil tasting. Mara helped me explore parts of Cordoba that I never would have experienced without her. So remember when you're in Cordoba or in Andalusia and you order a fino, uh, una copa is going to be an amount that's half the glass. But quite the opposite of the word media, media means half. When you order a media, a med una media, they'll, give it, they'll fill your glass all the way up to the top. So just keep that in mind when you're ordering fino here in Cordoba. One of my favorite spots in Cordoba is El Barón which is just off the beaten path in Plaza de Abades. El Barón has a nice patio and offers small snacks and really good fino. The Moss Cathedral of Córdoba is one of the city's main attractions. The structure was once a mosque and it is regarded as one of the most significant monuments of Moorish architecture in Spain. The area first served as a church until 784 when the Moorish forces turned the church into a mosque. As the centuries passed, the mosque was then converted back into a church in 1236 during the Reconquista by the Christian forces.
after visiting La Mesquita, I recommend having a pincho of tortilla at Bar Santos. The bar is located on Magistral Gonzalez Frances, and the best place to eat your tortilla is on the Mesquita wall in front of the bar. The main tourist office is located next to La Mesquita. The office is a good place to learn more about the city and to also get a city map. Founded in 1880, El Pisto is the perfect spot to have some good local food and wine. The tavern is associated with bullfighting, but El Pisto has always been a meeting place for all classes of Cordobesa society. I also recommend visiting the Plaza de la Corredera. This plaza has many restaurants to choose from and there's also a food market near the plaza. Mana was able to book me on one of her favorite patio tours in Cordoba and I was not disappointed. The exclusive access to some of the patios can only be provided by our tour guide. We have added this experience to our 10-day Andalusian tour. Mercado Victoria is a modern food market that you will want to ensure you visit while in Cordoba. The market's filled with various food stalls, so pace yourself as you walk through the Mercado. Exploring more Cordoba has been an amazing experience and I couldn't thank Mara de Miguel enough before I left. We look forward to you joining us in our Andalusian tours in the future. Please like and share this video. Thanks for watching and remember, travel deeper.